Throughout this video, I'll show you how to create a personalized product in your WooCommerce store. So whether you want to allow customers to upload their own file to customize on that particular product, whatever it is, whether it's a t-shirt, a mug, or maybe you want them to engrave their initial on a particular product, whatever the situation is, I'll show you how you can achieve it on your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, here we've got this personalized wedding photo album here. Okay, so the first thing to recognize here is that we've got a base price of $35 and then we can add some additional options on top of that, right? So for example, if they choose this size here, there's no additional cost. The same for here, there's no additional cost. So they can actually essentially purchase this particular product for $35. However, we want to give them the option to personalize this product to them. So maybe they want the larger size and maybe they want premium leather. And if they want to add a personalized message within this book, they can choose yes here. Then we'll show this additional field and then they can go ahead and personalize it, right? And then just add it to their basket. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, first step is to head over to aovop.com. Go ahead and download AOVOP Extra Product Options plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so the first step is to go ahead and upload the AOV up product add-ons plugin. So we just go plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, we'll go ahead and create the product in which you want to customize. So if you've already got your product created and you just want to add the custom option onto that particular product, you can skip ahead. I'll leave everything timestamp in the description below. So I'm just going to head over to products and then add new. I'm going to create a wedding photo album book. We'll leave the product type as simple and then we'll add a base price. So this is basically the most plainest version of our wedding book that a customer can have and they can have it for $35 without any further customization, right? We'll add the customization shortly. We can choose our category and then we'll just publish this book. So let's view our product. Okay, so this is our product without the customization option. Now let's go ahead and add in those options. So we'll head back over to our dashboard. We'll navigate over to AOV up and in product add-ons, and then we'll create a new option set. We'll give this a name, it's just for internal purposes. So we'll just say wedding book. Okay, and then we'll get to choose which product we wanna apply these options in which we're about to create onto. So we can apply to all products. In this case, I'm only gonna apply it to our wedding book. So we'll just search for wedding and it's this product here and um, let's skip over these options and then the first option we're going to create is our book size right so we'll choose a label or image option here and then we'll just say book size and then the first option will be eight by eight we'll add a new option and this one will be 11 by eight and then we'll add one more option and this will be 12 by 12. Okay, so now it's up to you if you wanna, well, in this case, it makes sense that we charge extra for the larger sizes. So for the smallest option, which is eight by eight, we're gonna leave the price as it is, right? So there'll be no change. So, so it won't add any additional charge onto the base product price. However, for the 11 by eight, we wanna increase the price. So we'll increase the price here and it's a fixed amount. Maybe it's an extra $2, right, for this particular size. And then for the 12 by 12, again, we'll increase the price and we will say it's an extra $5 fixed price. Okay, so let's save changes. And now I'm gonna add another option and this is for the cover type. So again, I'm gonna select label or image so we'll say cover type. Again, this is a no cost option. So we'll just leave the price as it is. We'll add a new option. So we'll say this is a hard cover and maybe this is in a matte finish. So we'll increase the price. This one will cost $5 extra, right? Then we'll add one more option and then we'll say premium leather. And this will be a $15 extra option. Okay, so let's save changes and let's go ahead and add a conditional logic, right? So we'll say, do you want to add a personalized um, note, for example? So we're going to create a checkbox. So this is our conditional logic where they can choose yes or no if they want to add this extra option. So we'll say 
and then we will say no. So the first option is no, and the second option is yes. So we'll hit save. Okay, so now if they choose to add a personal message, then we want to show a text field so they can add that personal message. Maybe we want to um, include it at the start of our wedding book or maybe even at the back of it. Okay, so we'll enable this text area here and then we'll just say something like add message, right? Um, for the text area, we can add a placeholder and within the placeholder, we can say of you, John, for example. Okay, so we just want to encourage them to write something within that box. Okay, so now we'll head over to conditional logic and then we want to enable this option here. And then we want to say show this mess, this text area field if any of these option match. And then here where it says add personal message, we'll select yes. And then the yes needs to be selected. Okay, for us to display this text area field. So let's hit save. And now we can actually just go ahead and save this option set. So let's hit save again. Okay, so now when we refresh this page, we should see our custom fields. So let's refresh this page. Okay, and here we've got our custom fields, right? So we can choose the book size. So this is a no cost option. We can choose this one and you can see it's an additional $2. We can choose this one as well. And then here's our conditional field. So do you want to add a personal message? We can select no, nothing happens. However, if we select yes, then here we've got this message field here. So we can add our custom message and then just add it to our basket. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.